Welcome to this episode of At Least We Try, where today we're going to talk about pickles, we're going to talk about bathrooms, we're going to talk about AJ getting his house burned down, and we might discuss a little bit about the last few episodes of Wall Smashers involving Mega Edics and Mr. Sin. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to run through today's episode. I'm here with Leia, I'm here with Cathonic, I'm here with Echo, I'm here with Flatley. So let's get into the news. Did you almost forget my name? <laughs> no, I was. I'm trying to eat Jimmy John's. I'm trying to eat Jimmy John's. You know what? He, you know what he was gonna say? Because my right. name is no, my name is Jewish, oh, Jewish Juggalo, Juggalo in the, in the Discord. So he might he almost said Jewish Juggalo. <laughs> I'm eating Jimmy John's. What am I supposed to do? Am I a Jewish Juggalo? Vader, come here. Get taken down right away. Oh my uh, goodness. What a what yeah. a little I almost called it a turn on What a what a wall smashers episode. They they were shook, bro. They were shook. Dude, I know, right? I fucking asked mm -hmm. them some hard questions. They got they were <laughs> shook, bro. What did San you ask? Ran, San Ran. Yep. Yeah. Uh Triton One. Uh Leia was called Leroy for the billionth time in commentary, which is insane. Yeah. Okay, so like people think I don't like that name. I like that name. I like it. All right, Jacob, calm down. Like my chat calls me Leroy or something. Like we have this whole meme on it. So I don't know where people like just think they're like hurting my feelings by calling me Leroy because it's not the case. It's I, just I like I may or may not have also contributed to that because I thought you just didn't like Leroy. This, no, you know what? This is on me. It's that's on me. It's a, it's a whole meme in my chat. It's a whole thing in my chat. And I just got that done. Miss 1K over here. I got done explaining this to Doug because Doug was like in the now recording server. He's like, I'm sorry, Zen called you that. And I was just like, uh, why are you apologizing? Like, that's a name I actually like. That's a name that my family actually calls me. They call me Leonard. They call me Len, uh, Leonardo. Right, Lynn or they Dixon. call me Leroy. We call you Lynn Dixon. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that what? name I hate. What? I hate Lynn Dixon. So, like, <laughs> call me that. No, freaking go in but, full retard mode. But that don't call her Lyo Convoy. Do not do that. Oh, you might shit. get killed. All right, Leo. Holy Dude, shit. fuck you. I'm going to fucking end your life. Dude. The Lee oh. Convoy shit. The fucking... Dude, it's just been a shit show lately. Holy fuck. You know what? You know what? You know what? Joe said he had a bunch of stuff to talk about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him the flag. Here you go, bro. You got this shit. It's your show. Yeah, I'm talking with my mouth full because I'm finishing up my Stop Jimmy John's. Dude, like, dude, yeah. You're like fucking Mitch on now recording, bro. What are you doing? Bro? People that eat... On while they're making content, or horrible. I'm literally doing that right now. As well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I was kidding. literally eating during the, the live stream right now. I've I eat uh during live streams too. I so. do too. All right, well, I'm gonna make it even more, pro I'm gonna make it more professional because I'm gonna crack open another beer as well yes, while sir. I tell this. So here yes, we go. Sir. So the one thing I noticed about Sen, um, uh, so Leia can attest, me, me and Leia went at Sen the other night on Cathonic yes. Stream. Um, the one thing I've noticed about Sin is he has three ways of deflecting when you ask him a question. It's either pure 100% cope deflection of the crow, like, oh, well, crow did this. Why aren't you talking about crow? Why, why are you not bringing up crow? Or why are you not bringing up person A or B? I'm not as bad as them, right? What about True. this person? And if you, if, if you make the argument, we're not talking about crow. We're not talking about this person. We're talking about you. Then it's the second option. You're a nobody. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. You're a tranny. You're this. You're all these things. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. That's cool. You're saying names and arguing with me. Fine. Okay. Now answer the question for real. Well, I don't have to dignify that answer. I already gave it. Your answer was yeah. for me to kill myself. And what about this other person? Well, that's a valid answer. That's three ways of deflecting. And none of those three ways answer the question at hand. So true. <laughs> So true. That's that's a constant with Sen is he he can't he says like he's on this anti hero arc. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I got caught with I got caught with Lolly, so I'm gonna be the anime villain, like just exactly what other people do. Exactly. 
when they get caught with degenerate shit, they either do two things. They turn into a locale, which Sen is doing. They run. And they also, uh, by turning into a locale, they go and say, well, I'm going, I'm just going to be the asshole. I'm just going to own up to the, the true person that I am and just be the asshole that I am. And yeah, who cares if I like Lolly? Yeah, I liked Lolly. What are you going to do about it? And it's just like, you're clip it. so fucking stupid. Lies, no, lies, it, I'm going to fucking murder you. <laughs> That's what he does, though. He lies, too. I mean, he put Badwick in a position where Badwick was willing to defend him. And he lied to Badwick, which made Badwick look worse. Yes. Totally well, because it wasn't just that he lied to. It wasn't even just that he lied to Badwick. Every time after that, he would you literally use the Badwick interview to like justify himself. But you know, now he's not using it. Like this, that's how you. That's how you. Uh, I don't know. Disarm Sen is by what the spews and the bullshit that he he or the bullshit that he says the lies that he says and he's ha he's he'll go on huggy's live streams and and say them right huggy won't push back on him at all huggy no. won't push back on him and then like the second you confront him on said lie because he keeps spewing it over on either on hugs channel or huggy's channel or slugs channel um, when the second you confront him, he stops using that argument and shifts to something else. He shifts the goalpost. Like he did it with Lolly where, or he did it with his Lollycon scandal where he, at first he was like, oh, uh, I just admitted this because I was just, I was under duress. The Kiwi farmers were going to dox me, right? They doxed him anyways. They yeah. doxed Slug and or Sen anyways. So then he's he's been using the Discord ID argument. The uh, I I said it. I admitted it under duress. To I didn't know it was Lolly. So he just keeps shifting and shifting and shifting. It's just he's progressing the issue at hand. While Kiwi Farms is brought up, it's a minor nitpick, but it's something I brought up the other day uh, that I think is a valid criticism of Sin. Sin is willing to use Kiwi Farms to his advantage when it's someone he doesn't like. But the moment you bring up, well, Kiwi Farms has information on you, too. It's, oh, well, that's biased information. They're just trying to cancel me. Why are you bringing up Kiwi Farms? What are you, a Kiwi Farms dick sucker? Bro, yeah. don't, don't, don't use it to your advantage and then get mad when someone uses it against you. You're using the same source of information I am. <laughs> like, it, what, it, what is <laughs> it's almost like he sounded, like when he was using the anti-Kiwi Farms argument, he sounded like he was fucking Keffels. Like, oh, okay, you're just going to take that Keffel's approach when it comes to Kiwi Farms? It's just dumb. It, and I know is. for a fact Sun uses Kiwi Farms. Like, there's no queen, there's no um, tiptoeing around it. Like, he fucking uses it. He's more, he's more than happy to look up people's doxes, too. And he wants to sit here at, on the moral high ground and be like, oh, well, Pro does it. Pro does all these bad things, and it's like, son, you do the same thing. We we get it. We know Crow is a bad person. We understand. Let's focus on you. He just doesn't. He doesn't get it. He has low IQ. Absolutely. You have to over explain things to Sen. I noticed in particular, because uh, for everybody watching, we are actually recording this right after Wall Smashers Live. Like that happened about it ended about 15, 20 minutes ago, something like that. So this is yeah. all fresh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Not only that, I, Pro wants to come on my stream tomorrow and talk about the sudden show. Pro? Yeah. I mean, be realistically speaking, this is just my opinion. You can never trust what Crow said because Crow knew about this for years. Crow, yeah. everything Crow does is just to get like a kind of like a. What's the word? Like a fucking like one up. Not just a one up, but he wants to bury Sin because he thinks Sin back betrayed him, and they're that's what they're all about. They're just like backstabbing each other like consistently. Like yeah. a fucking there used to be a joke that oh shit like we're we're bringing fucking so and so on to fucking fight IBB, and then it turns into a fucking Sin. Uh, what is it? A Sin fucking Mister? What's the fucking loser's name? Who's the guy that fucking Slug always complains about? I always forget his name. Oh, uh, Steve, Steve, Steve Believe. Believe. Steve Believe. Believe. Like, it turns into that. Like, 
And then they're friends for a week, and then all of a sudden they backtrack, backtrack and start fucking backstabbing each other. Like, it's just so constant, the, like, they're just... It's like it's like bringing in Slug. That's the best way I'll say it. You're bringing in so Slug the, to talk about, you know, someone that he hates. It's not a good move. The Crow thing is... The reason why Crow Crow's a Judgment came out with that whole live stream, and I, I... Yes, I understand. Like, Sen is absolutely freaking autistic when it comes to this. Like, we... Yes, we get it. Crow is a bad guy. Yeah, we get it. We understand, buddy. We get it, right? The reason why Crow came out with that live stream was because Sen went around. They had a mutual agreement. Sen, Aura, and Crow, everybody on that side of the community had a mutual agreement not to talk shit about each other in live streams at all. Crow, Aura, and and um, everyone seemed to be... Qu- seemed to be quiet it was copacetic for a few months or even a few years i i don't know for probably a few months i don't know that's but this is speculation on the 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 length of time where it was peaceful i don't know all of a sudden sen decides to open his big mouth in weeks prior you can go watch you can go watch huggy's live stream and sen is like Sen starts talking shit about Crow. Like, he starts accusing Crow of being trans. Supposedly, tro- Crow is trans. This Alvin C. York guy is a pedo, right? And it's proven. Okay, I get it. He's a pedo. I understand. Get it. And then he starts talking shit about Aura. And he's like, Aura? Aura's not going to talk shit about me because he's scared of me. He like pretty much makes the implication. We have a mutual agreement not to talk talk shit about each other, right? Then, son, all of a sudden starts starts going in on Aura's wife, right? He tries to get me and Jessica Jessica Pizzle into a Twitter war with Aura and um, Aura's wife, and I fell for it. I actually went on Sen's side with that Twitter war. Then all of a sudden, Sen's like, oh, we have a mutual agreement. Aura and I n- know not to talk shit about each other. So Sen kept kept running his mouth and kept talking shit. So then I guess Aura and Crow got tired of Sen still talking shit when they had a mutual agreement. And that's why we saw the live stream that we saw. Mm-hmm. I think it would be a good, be just because you have Sen on your you, you had Sen on your live stream, I think it would be a good idea to have Crow on it too, just so you can hear both sides of the story. Yeah. And then make your decision there. Yeah, that's what I was like planning on doing. I think it's the best bet. And also like you know, he was the one that like basically like leaked everything, right? He was like the original person that covered the shit or did it come out some other way? I, I totally forget. It was. It's been covered before, but this is like the one that where they basically broke. Oh, here, like here's the actual definitive evidence that this is sent. Because like okay. that screenshot, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Discord screenshot's been around for like okay. two years or something like that. So the Discord screenshots were around for quite some time. Yes, and Santa has always said that is not my Discord ID. The pictures. I did not know that those pictures were that bad. When you take a look at the pictures on our favorite website or my favorite website, when you go and take a look at those pictures, you can automatically tell that that's Lollycon. They're yes. they're like young girls. These are young girls. So Sen can't even have the argument of saying that's not Lollycon. Anyways, I digress. I, I, the, I, I, do, I, I do want to say this, like, because at his age, at the time, too, like, I guess I didn't know what Shota and Lollicon was. I was watching, like, anime at, at the same time he was. We're the same age. And I guess, like, I didn't I didn't know th- the term at all. Like, I didn't know what the word was. I didn't know what it inferred. I didn't know shit. I didn't know anything up till, like, like two, maybe two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. And he, he was around the same age when all this shit happened. So, like... I, I believe him when he says he didn't know the what the term was and that what it implied because I I was a big weeb at the time and I didn't I didn't know that. 
If he didn't know what it is, then why is he making content on flamenco? Uh, another was he, making, hey, was he was he making content on flamenco in 2019? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's very against Doggy in all of them. But... Yeah. He's been doing the it was anti like, 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 art. But wait, the 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 Lollicon shit for for flamenco came out in like a couple of years ago. It wasn't like when when he did all that. He's been he, anti commentary this entire time, though. Yeah, I, I believe he's been that, going around sure. call, this because, entire time. His entire existence is going around shit talking other people on live yeah. streams, I, and, and, and I. Totally I do that. I do the same thing, but I don't go around calling people lollycons while being a lollycon. Yeah, myself. and that's, and and, and that's, I will fully like fully stand on he he was being hypocritical, and I like, and I think he knows that I I think that like for sure like I don't think what he did was is cool like and and I mean he even admitted tonight that like he should he should at least apologize to Flamenco because he was a hypocrite. He's not and going to. That's that's like an entire. But he did it live. But I mean, I don't know. To sit well, there he said and... he reached out to Flamenco supposedly, but at I the same time, it's it. like, okay, even if he lied, even if he lied and said like, oh, well, I didn't know at the time. The problem is that the first two years it wasn't that he didn't know. Okay, it's let that, me ask oh, you this, well, like, Echo, because that because was the I first thing like... though. I feel like me and you also have watched... I think you probably watched more anime than I have. But I've watched a lot of fucking yeah. anime in my time, right? Did you know the term or what the term Lollicon or Shotokan was in 2019? Um, So that's like for... Yeah, around that time, yeah. COVID. But I didn't know... I, I did like a similar thing where... I didn't know about it until I had grown er older. Because I watched started watching like... Around teens... So by the time I grew up, I'm like, wait, that's what that means? Like, what the fuck? So, so I, I can understand that. Question. But the thing is that when he started it, it wasn't just that, oh, well, like, I didn't know. It was that, oh, well, I got catfished. That was the thing. And, oh, I got forced to admit this. Yeah, no, no, when no. When it and just he, wasn't fucking and true. And that's why, like, yes, he's retarded for lying for it, uh, lying about it, and yada, 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 right? And even the, the fact that he's come out and said that um, it's he lied. Right now, he's fully open about the fact that he lied about it, right? And right. um, but it still doesn't excuse the fact that he did it. He probably should have just been truthful the whole way through, and probably people would have left him alone after a while. But he's lied about right. it for years, and then like now he's kind of paying for lying about it. There's a big portion of this that everybody's missing, though. This isn't like I saw something that was an anime that had little kids or anything. This was in the context of sexting someone else. And yes. I I personally do not think you can look at an image of someone who looks underage, you know, lollicon, whatever you want to say, regardless. You see a picture of someone that looks underage, it's used in sex, and you send it back and then go, I didn't know it was lollicon. He in my mind, I back. go. He cop. Oh, supposedly, it, it, supposedly, he copied and pasted it to somebody else. It's I doubt no, that, dude. no, that no, was, no, no, no. Okay, that, that okay so we are getting things supposedly. wrong here. Yeah, no, Hold that's on. why I said supposedly. We are getting things wrong here. What okay. happened? Let's just. He was sexing a catfish that he yes. thought was a hot girl, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. He didn't know it was a catfish. The catfish was looking up pictures of teenagers and pictures of the lollicon to send to yeah. send yeah. while sexting mm -hmm. okay he mm -hmm. copied and p the person sent one of the lollicon pictures mm -hmm. and then sen copied and pasted it back later on in a conversation and said i want you to milk it oh right? okay okay yes okay, okay. so, so it then back. then what happened was the sexting continued the person is talking like in like the whole aura's whole hiccup was that the catfish said uh yucky stuff comes what if yucky stuff comes out and then sends like ha uh my yucky stuff tastes good it's it's mm. nutritious right so the per the person the catfish is talking like a freaking minor like a kid in it or yucky stuff. Like, I think the person is talking like a kid. 
and then San is progressing the conversation. Not at not at any given time did San say, "This is getting weird." I got to stop. Whether he knew it was Lolly or not, he still continued to have that sexting okay, conversation. Um, have you ever baby talked to like your partner or has anybody? No, 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 no. I mean, people do that. I'm not like that. Like, not like that, but, the thing like is, that, but I'm just, it's a genuine, genuine question. It's not like, saying, I'm defending yeah. that. Yeah. But like, you know, that happens. It, it, yeah, it's cringe as fuck. No, I, it, I'm <laughs> not going to put that like across, but like, as far as him, like, I don't know. I would have to see most of the logs. I would probably have to go through them again and, like, like, cast my judgment then. But as far as I can tell right now, like, yeah, that's fuck. Like, it's all weird, cringe, fucking nasty bullshit. W my main contention is it's four to five years ago. Ha have we seen anything of this since? Is he good at hiding it? Or is it just the fact that he hasn't really done it since, and he actually doesn't in indulge in that? I, I think that's, like, the real thing that we should be thinking about, right? So I think that's a tangible argument to make. It, it's a good argument to make. And yes, you could say, has he done it again since then, right? Mm -hmm. Has Larry done it again since then? Um, no, the last time was recently? the... the... No. Well, Has last Flamingo year the... done it again since then? Um, Flamingo's... yeah, so Flamingo's pure, pure fucking pro lolly kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. no, he defend. He's actually gone out and like I've seen him defend it on Twitter. So if so, you're yeah. going to do it one time, and you're going to do it again, even after that one time, why should I give you a second chance at doing it again when people in the past have done it again? True. And for for lyrics to say, or for Sen to say, well, I I'm I'm less than lyrics. Well, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. In fact, I think you're worse because you sexted a catfish. Lyrics didn't sext anybody with Lollycon. Sen did. And the the pictures that Sen is showing when it comes to lyrics. Those pictures are speculative at best. Like, Chud looked at the pictures and he's like, I get where you can make the argument that they're sexualized. I get that. But these kind of don't look like they're sexualized pictures. Now, the worst picture that Sen supposedly like, or that Lyric supposedly like, was a girl next to sex toys. And yeah. that that's and I, suspicious and... in Sen's eyes. Where Sen has copied and pasted Lollycon actually getting intercourse and has responded to the catfish and say, I, I want you to milk it. That's probably what well, I think. Well, with the with the lyric stuff, too, um, because I don't know if you remember this from last year. Is it right? Right around the time Tipster was leaving um, when lyrics tried to come back, like at the tail end of it to dunk on Tipster, he had posted a picture of um I, I mentioned this like so many times and i've i've been looking for the fucking dog on the radio can't find the exact moment uh when they're dunking on lyrics for this but lyrics pulls up like he posts a picture of like tipster's twitch chat or twitch and it looks like he's like watching lolly and it's fucking like two girls scissoring themselves like on you a bed you and that's a picture that he he edited it oh my god damn it so basically <laughs> he had posted a picture of tipster quote unquote on Twitch watching Lollycon, which was two little girls scissoring themselves. Lyrics and he posted that? tips lyrics lyrics posted this like sometime last year. I remember Doc on the radio covered it. And that's why he that's why he left the internet until he came back like in September. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, uh, that's yeah. weird. But but I don't I, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know if he was so, doing it as a meme to fucking dunk on tipster, but it was still like why the fuck would you even do that? Yeah, yeah like well even as a meme that that's fucked up. That's like uh posting child porn and being like, Oh ha, 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 tipster's looking at this. If lyrics did do that, and I'm gonna have to watch Doc on the radio's live streams about that, but if lyrics did that, like that's fucked. He's just as equally as fucked as as Sen. 
but and that's then that's, what, I guess that's that's what when you, that's what like uh what like um I mean I get I guess I hate when like um Sen tries to say he's like better or the situation that he was in was better but like I fully agree with you they're just as equally as bad like these yeah. these two did some fucking weird ass shit right yeah <laughs> But it the thing is with with lyrics though, is like he has kind of shown a repeated repeated pattern of like kind of doing this shit right. Like he like I did even see screenshots. You can even ask Robin. Robin did a lot of research on uh on lyrics. Shout out to Robin. Um, and yeah, he found a lot of shit. I would have to ask him and like for the rest of the shit just to just to like make sure I'm not like talking out of my ass right now. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. I'm gonna have to watch the doc on the radio streams now. If like if I if I watch it and I find out that Lyrics has done more than the Arrow Manga Sensei and the likes that Sen has posted that were made by Lyrics, then I'll concede to that. But th this is where it, it's my hiccup with Sen because Sen would like just like us to believe him, right? But it takes mm -hmm. like a certain amount of evidence to believe him. And he's not willing to do that. He's just willing to go around calling people pedos. And when you ask for evidence, he, he doesn't take action. It's it's just a ton of non-action. Like with the whole lyric situation in Arrow Manga Sensei, I was on Sen's side. And I thought lyrics is no better than tipster. Right? Lyrics should yeah. humble himself. It took sure. me posting the Arrow Manga Sensei to get everybody else to see what Sen wanted people to see. Sen has this, this habit of being like, trust me, bro. Believe me, bro. It's the way that this is. And then when you don't believe him, he uses it against you. Like with the Alvin C. York stuff, I just explained it in the Wall Smashers episode. I went to Sen and I told Sen, please, if you have proof, that he that this guy is a pedo please post it on your twitter account and i'd be happy to disavow right or i'd be happy to call him a degenerate he didn't do it two days later lb makes the post and posts the proof that that this alvin c york guy is it is a pedo and yeah. i took action from that so it's like son stop doing these trust me bro arguments and just post the proof if you have proof, post it. Right. He sat on Arrow Manga Sensei for for weeks. I don't even know how long he had that that review, but he was going around calling Larry Sapito, and he just wants people to blindly believe him. And now it's worse for him because now he's gotten caught. Now he's caught in a lie about the whole Lollycon scandal, and he still wants people to believe him. No one is going to believe you if your only argument is fuck you, kill yourself, you're a nobody, or what about this person, or well, I've already explained what the answer is and you're not listening. So, I if he and and even starting like the wall smashers episode, because he's going around, he got backed into a corner on Chud Stream and he says that he wasn't backed into a corner. He says Chud didn't back him into a corner. I don't believe it, right? But he got backed into a corner and, and admitted that commentary should be lenient on lollycons or people with lollycon scandals, and we should be more accepting and tolerant of it. Nope. Mm, no. It goes back to my argument of... Uh, I, I still don't see it. And the other night when I argued with him... He, he couldn't explain it. I said, if you see a picture of a girl who clearly looks underage when you're sexting someone, you can claim you don't know a term all you want, right? But even like you guys who watch anime say you didn't know the term. If you saw a sexual photo of an anime girl that looked underage, you would think that's really fucking weird and not want to be involved with that, right? Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah. He 100% yeah. copied and pasted it and sent it back at a later date and time to use again in the sex. And his only claim when you when you provoke that is, oh, well, it was a joke. The cat ears? Oh, it's an adult because it has cat ears? That's a joke. Or, oh, well, I didn't know what Lollicon was at the time. Bro. It, 
It's the <laughs> shifting that gets me. It's like, dude, you constantly shift your argument. You've been caught in a lie about, oh, yeah, the, he's been lying and saying that's not my Discord ID for ages. For years, he's been saying it. I believed him. I really believe that those were not his Discord IDs. I was completely 100% on his side. And then we find out on Crow's a Judgment Stream that not only the Discord ID thing is true, but also that he was colluding with Aura and Crow's a Judgment and company to try and hide the scandal. But weren't they also like trying to hide other shit that they've done? Like on top of know. that, so aren't they as equally as bad because they were like, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I, that's why I don't think it would be. I mean, if you want to do it, dude, you'd do it because I feel like if anyone's going to do it right, it's going to be you. But yeah. that's the whole thing. Like, I wouldn't want to bring fucking Crow, I didn't even want to bring Sen onto fucking Wall Smashes because at the end of the day, like, realistically speaking, only fucking Badwick had like a question or two. He already got his answer in DMs. And then Trident wanted to debate him because Trident saw it and he's like, oh, I can get a W. Then he tried backing out. Then I gaslit him into fucking doing it. And I only did it because, like, all right, we have a stream on Saturday. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to have to cover that. And I didn't even want to cover it today because I got to the point where it's like, okay, like, what are we really going to talk about? Like, it's going to be a fucking 30-minute conversation. That's literally it. Like, it, it does nothing to anyone that's just going to be bad face on both sides. It just is something I'd rather just not even be a part of. Because it doesn't affect me. Like, I wake up tomorrow, send Crow is still going to be fighting. It's not going to change anything. Yeah. They've been doing it for years. And True. it's... Yeah, it's I, just another part of the cycle. I don't... I don't want Sen. Like, my goal and my intention is to not have Sen yeet themselves off the internet, right? I'm not as hard on Sen as I am on Lyo. If, I'm probably more hard on Lyo because Lyo is just like a straight up abusive. No, he, he should right? just, no that guy's. Yeah, no, Lyo yeah, is a different up. fucking animal, dude. Fuck. Yes. <laughs> if Sen wants to continue to make content, Sen can continue to make content, but don't go around trying to call people pedophiles or trying to call people lollicons because you are that very thing. It's hypocritical. If he acknowledges that he's hypocritical and he wants to go make content, go do commentary, go ahead and do it. Go make your channel grow. This is a capitalistic society. I am completely 100% for people making money on YouTube. But don't go around doing hypocritical things because I'm going to sit there and ridicule you. I'm going to sit there and ridicule you. And I do I think Sen is a pedo? No. I just call him a pedo because it pisses him off. <laughs> I think he's a hypocrite. I think he's 100% <laughs> a hypocrite. I think he I made think a mistake a in the past. Yeah, I think he made a mistake in the past. He fucked up. A 19-year-old kid is going to fuck up, you know. Um, I get I that. I'm also trying to get at as well, too. Like, I got to get it. Like, he, it, like the, I, think, I think the biggest thing to, add, like... To get out of this is yeah, he's a hypocrite and he lied and his his credibility should be like, you know, kind of like just as bad as like anybody else. Like like just like like flamencos. Like his credibility should just be like not as good as anybody else in the community, right? Yeah. Yep. I think I think when um I don't know. I it's Sen just needs to stop doing like this press tour. And he says he's not doing it, but he is. He he's going around. What's it, since when does he ever go on fucking wall smashers? The last few weeks he's been talking down to everyone, saying that we everyone in commentary is not worth his time. Yet here he is explaining himself to us. He should have just left it at the crow stream and just moved on. That's it. But the more he goes and the more he tries to explain himself. The worse it gets. Because now today it went from, I didn't know it was Lollicon argument to, I sympathize with Flamenco. And it's like, dude, are, yeah, are you retarded? Really fucking weird. He's the, Flam, Flam is a guy that like watches Shotokan. He's jerked off to this because his, his porn history has been leaked out. 
right? To the public. Flam kept lying about it. And I was just as equally as hard on Flam in the past when he lied about it. He fucking lied to Augie. And I started getting pissed off at Augie because Augie kept giving him so many chances. It's like, Sen, if you just shut up, just move on and make content, stop going on Wall Smashers, stop going on Huggy Stream to talk shit, stop doing this and just make content, you're fine. You're completely fine. With an I mean, additum, with an additum, don't accuse people of lolly con or pedophilia. Yes. You, you can't, you cannot do that anymore. You can criticize anybody for anything else. That is the one section you have no right to judge anybody on because even, you have a shady history with it. Even lyrics is doing that. Like lyrics, Jessica Pizzle and I jumped on lyrics for making fun of tipster and pretty much implicating that tipster was a pedo, whether it was a joke or not. Oh, yeah. and it's like lyrics. You have a past of, of this lollycon behavior. You like lollycon. And then it further pushed and he actually reviewed arrow manga sensei, which made it worse. Do you think lyrics goes and shits on tipster? No. Have I seen lyrics? fire up a live stream and call anybody else a pedo or a lollycon? No. So it's just like, dude, like lyrics learned his lesson. Why can't you? The best thing you can be, because I know Sen does not like lyrics. Sen does not like lyrics. The oh, best really? thing you could try to be is be better than your enemy, right? But when you're going around accusing people of things that you have a history of and a past of, that's the quickest way for people to call you out. That's the quickest way for people to want to attack you. I listened to that stream, Chthonic stream, heard him say three buzzwords. This person is a lollycon, Kiwi Farms, and, well, I have, like, I've had my accusations, and it took 45 seconds of research to go, all right, buddy, all I need to do is <laughs> confront you for five seconds, and I've got yeah. you. It's not that hard. No, nope, it's just don't it really don't is. accuse other people of things that you have a past or that you're guilty of. <laughs> I agree. Like it's not hard. It it's really not hard. If you want to do the whole, the, I think this person's scamming thing. Segue, by the way, you want to do the whole. I think this person is scamming thing. Uh, you know what? You weren't involved in calling someone a scammer, and you did it. So you know what? That's fair. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, so, that's also a segue. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Uh, who who's scamming? Uh, well, according to uh, people I've heard, uh, Magnetar is a, is a wool suit, a uh, scammer, <laughs> and they finally gave answers on a recent episode of Wall Smashers on how they actually feel. And I was just curious what everybody thought about that. <laughs> So it's interesting. Like I, I will say, and I'm gonna acknowledge Wall Smashers and be like, dude, it's so freaking awesome that Wall Smashers is having Badwick is having like these hit pieces, these pieces that are hitting like so great. A maggot episode, and then after that, after maggot episode, a sun episode. So like, congratulations, Wall Smashers. Yes, y'all are getting the content. Yeah, good job, guys. Yeah, especially you know, like Huggy, Trident, you know, our big fucking, our big fucking hitters over there. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Fire Triton. Hashtag the, Fire Triton. Dude, dude, hashtag <laughs> Fire Huggy. Like, uh, actually, I say fire. yeah. Let's talk about that, Cathodic. How uh, do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel knowing that Huggy left Wall Smashers <laughs> to join your live stream? <laughs> That, see, that's like the criticism, I guess. Like, I help, I like really, I'm like holding like, to you, like, Huggy is just like every time he gets pressed on anything, he goes cries about on a live stream. And then someone presses on, presses him on the thing that he cried about on his live stream. And then he yeah. cried, and then he just gets upset about it. And he's just like, well, well, I'm just venting on my streams. It's just like, okay, but you don't expect anybody to like criticize you for being like, a retard like i don't know like, oh dude and i think i do do think it's funny as hell that he like <laughs> left wall smashers and like got on my stream i think that was hilarious 
it's fun. yeah, it's, it's, it's because I told him to do something that he I told him to do something like or not to do something three or four days, you know, nonstop. Hey, bro, don't do this. You know, every time you're brought up on another stream or whatever the fuck you want to bring up on anything, I'm like don't don't fucking do this, dude, because it's not the fucking route you need to go. It's fucking retarded. Just drop it. Stick to the facts. That's all you got to do, or just stick to asking questions. He just really couldn't help himself because he does not like Maggot at all. Which I mean. To be fair, like how many people don't like Maggot in this fucking community? Like I could I could understand if people were gonna go at her, but Huggy's not the person to do it. Huggy's not the fucking hard hitting journalist to fucking pull, oh hey, Maggot, actually you said this, but why did you do this? No, it's like he's like trying to get an O on a drama that he got an L in. It's just retarded. Yeah. And that's why I yelled at him. And then he ran. The fact that like the fact that like Maggot I, I will say the fact that Maggot, like, and this is the one time I'm on Huggy's side, the fact that even after Slug turned on Huggy, she decides to make it a point to say, I told you so, because she's that fucking petty, is is pretty shitty. Like, mm -hmm. this dude thought Slug was his friend, and it turns out Slug actually completely used this guy, self-admittedly, by the way. Slug admits this. Yeah. He completely uses, used Huggy, and then Maggot's go-to is, oh, I told you so, Huggy. Like, you're pretty shitty for doing that. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, well, part of the part of the problem why no one really told her anything on that is because Huggy tried lying about it. And it's like, bro, like, just, you could just, yeah, yeah, I, I was stupid. I did fuck up. That's it. And I fucking, people probably would have jumped at Maggie. Like, All right, he said he fucked up. He's like, he hasn't had it had slug on for like a week now. We don't know what's going to happen next week. But like, yeah. you can't just try to dog on him after the same thing happened with you, same thing happened with K-Hug, same thing happened to like a bunch of different people in the community. Like, no one yeah. ever jumped at anyone for fucking like cutting off the slug bridge. No. After no. being warned. I, and that. I will say, nobody has... Oh, go ahead, Joe. I was about to say... Uh, no, you know what? Because you're, you're, you're leading off of that conversation. Mine was going to be unrelated. You go and then I'll, I'll throw out what I was going to say. I will say, like, nobody is going after, like, I, I think it's hilarious that Maggot has, like, this assumption that people are going going after K-Hawk or they're going after Doug or they're going to go after um, them because all because they're on, they're on um, Maggot's side. And it's like, no, people could care less that they're on your side. You're just, your side is just wrong. I mean, I they're think... Just, I think Go it's kind of like the thing that happened in the community where everyone goes, everyone goes in DMs like, "Hey, dude, what happened? Hey, dude, what? like, Bad was talking about like, yeah, dude, when this was happening, like, I got like, or after the Maggot episode, after it was posted and everything, it was getting like flooded with DMs, people asking him like, "Hey, dude, if you didn't do this, hey, dude, you didn't do that," and he already knew it was gonna happen. But I think with the whole Maggot thing, the whole Dmax fucking Paul situation, like, no one really expected that. Oh shit, they're gonna blow up and now. Everyone that hangs around them, either like that's really associated to them or people that always stand up for them, are gonna get grilled. Like, hey, dude, what? Why do happen? Wait, why did Mega do? Oh, okay. Like they could feel overwhelmed, but I don't yeah. think it's fucking. I don't think it's as bad as they're saying it is. Yeah. So I just think they didn't up. expect the people that they thought wouldn't ask them. Oh my, are you fucking serious? You yeah, broke you're up. Blank, blank, right you're, yeah, but you're good now. You're good now. You broke up for. Uh, like All right, maybe so two or three seconds. TLDR, TLDR. All right, TLDR. So basically, just they didn't expect to get like at least K Hook, Doug, whoever the fuck else around them didn't expect to get anyone asking them, hey, why did Maggot do this? Hey, why is this, 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 and this? It, they just didn't expect it. So they weren't prepared for it and they got overwhelmed. Because mm -hmm. even if it was just say like, like 10 people, it's still something they don't want to get questioned on because they're not involved. I don't so think it's harassment, but. Whatever. I, I don't think so either. It's just people asking what's going on. Like, mm -hmm. I, I get the same thing about Jessica Pizzle. I had DMs asking if, like, Pizzle is okay. And I was like, yeah, she's totally fine. She's completely fine. And then, um, K Hawk, like, just they, they're like upset because people are asking these questions. And it's just like, guys, it's, it's going to happen. You want to know what you do? You type, you reply back in that, that DM saying, I don't know what's going on. I don't care. I'm not involved. Please leave me out of this. And what yep. the person will normally say, okay, I won't bother you again. It ha it, I always have to do that. When people like or the same thing, you don't want to be antagonizing people either. Yeah. Like, I, cause like that's kind of happened with like the, 
the Doug stuff. Well, what? What do you mean? So, like, they were in, um, so, like, for instance, like, Flatley was, you know, asked Doug one time, and then left the group chat, and they were bothering him nonstop, like, trying to get him back. The minute they bring him back, they tried grilling him, like, oh, so what's the problem you have with Doug? So then Flatley tells them what the problem is, and then now, all of a sudden, Flatley's harassing Doug, when they were, like, he just wanted to let it be, like, all right, whatever, didn't want to talk to him about it, and they're just going super harassment on him. Not harassment, yeah, they're pulling the harassment card they poked the despite bear, the fact they bro. wanted him to hear his answer. They poked it, bro. That's honestly, that's on them. I left three times, got invited back three times. Yo, flatly, what's your major malfunction? All right, bet. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Gloves off. I ain't sugarcoating shit. It is what mm-hmm. it is. Get your feelings hurt. I'm tired of dancing around, bro. I'm so tired of having to dance around eggshells and shit like that for these fucking people. Oh, so-and-so's got autism. So-and-so's special needs or some shit like that. <laughs> so-and-so I'm sorry. is <laughs> making fun of other people online as well, you know. Oh, so-and-so yeah. can get the same fucking amount of equality everyone else does. Everyone gets their fair share of licks, bro. I, I, don't, I think, was. like, okay, I think we're, like... When it comes to, like, people that are, like, special needs or just not as, I guess, uh, to pit it nicely, not as uh, mentally there as, like, us, right? I think it's fair to maybe give them a little bit a little bit of leeway, right? Like, on certain shit, right? Oh, yeah. But mm-hmm. when you're starting to see them loop on the same actions over and over and over and over again, that's when you're, like... You need to be held to the standard of all of us now because mm-hmm. now Hepatic. that's you're why showing I left, some that's why I left the BC because I was like, you know, Doug isn't really, he's not like he's special needs or some shit like that. So I'm gonna leave. And then they invited me back and they they pretty much asked me, What's up? I was like, Oh, here we go. I, I will say, like, sometimes Doug does like run his mouth and then he he like gets upset and he's like, Oh, why are these people? Why are these people talking about me? And it's like, dude, you like you just got like with the whole slug thing. Doug got caught talking trash about slug in a VC, right? And then someone w- recorded that call, yep. and then went to slug, and uh, slug played that call, and uh, there's proof of Doug talking shit, right? Yeah. Doug can't. Like, that, and then slug light? started. Slug started talking shit about him. Doug can't go and complain and be like, oh, well, why is Slug talking shit about me? This is, he's just attacking me. This is horrible. And it's like, Doug, you got caught. You were talking shit. So, like, you got to own up to it. If you don't want people to get mad at you because you're talking shit, then maybe don't talk shit at all. It's the same thing with Huggy. When Huggy is gets all yeah. emotional, he gets upset, and he's like, oh, my God, these people are... Are horrible. These I'm. These people are mean to me. Um, I I can't take criticism well. And he has like the the twenty four minute cope live stream sessions on his channel. It's <laughs> like Doug, that's your fault. Like you talk shit. Yep. Like talk shit, get hit. That's I, it's. I think also. I guess the only criticism I because I've thought about this a lot. I guess the only criticism I can give about about the clip right is like. You really didn't expect people to be in your DMs about the fucking clip. Like, even afterwards, you had Maggot on. You don't think people were going to be in your DMs asking if they talked about it on there? Yeah. Like, you, you really don't think that's what's going to happen? Come on, you're in the commentary community. Have you not been in this for years? I've been in this for <laughs> two years. Three years tops, actually. It's been three years now. It's been... Oh, my God. Too long, bro. Time flies. But... <laughs> but, but and I, I know this i know this and i've been in here a shorter amount of time than half the people on this call yeah you know like it just blows my mind when when you have controversial figures and the, this that's my crit the hiccup on doug is you're as a content creator your content is going to eventually lead to drama like Mm-hmm. I have said things on my live streams that have led to drama, or I've had L-, L takes that have led to drama. I have called, I've gone like a, a long time ago. Um, the now recording guys had an issue with me because I fired up a live stream and called Matt Pitt a dick. Right. <laughs> and it, it, oh, I it, remember that. 
I got pushback because of it. And I took the criticism. So it's like, Doug, eventually your content is going to lead to drama and you have to learn how to deal with it. And if you don't, you're going to end up like Huggy. But yeah. This was a support system. <laughs> yes. I th yes. At the end of the day, everybody, even, even if you don't make content, that you, you do something dumb or you say something dumb and you got to take your licks, right? I know that's the phrase like the people, everybody takes their licks, but flatly has been saying it. People have said it. Everybody's 100% right. At some point, you're going to get confronted about either spurging or saying something dumb or having an L take. And how you react is how people will judge you from that moment on, right? Yes. I think... Um, you know what? Doug Doug had no moment. Maggot's still the problem. <laughs> That's my opinion. Actually, yeah. Uh, we kind of digressed a little bit. We kind of yeah. went into uh, Doug L. Yeah. So, <laughs> I love you, Doug. I still love you, buddy. So uh, I'm just going to, like, I made Pizzle the promise that if Pizzle or if Pizzle and I get into blood sports or get into a fight, um, that we would have content on low gals. Mm -hmm. Echo, I'm not, I don't mean to put you on the spot or anything, but no, I expected it. We're, we're going to fucking milk each other, buddy. <laughs> we're going to milk each other. We're going to make some content. Hey. You and I hey, had hey, a, wait, wait, wait a minute. They issues. told me, they told me I'm not allowed to do this during recordings. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. No milking like sin. No milking. Are you serious? <laughs> no, they told you no, this. No, is... no, no. Oh, okay. No, they're talking about different. Oh, there you go. She gets it. Yeah, okay. no milking like sin. <laughs> uh, so you and I yeah. had issues. We had conflict about the Megan yeah. Edits episode. Do you want to go ahead yeah. and say your opinion first? Or should I say it? Oh, shit. I think it, it'd be easier to go with your opinion first so I can remember exactly what we were talking about before. Okay. So we had a miscommunication where I had the <laughs> idea. I had the idea that Jessica Pizzle was saying a completely different theory than what I was saying. She was saying that Peepaw was defending D-Max in, and D-Max in defending, um, or, and D-Max defending Maggot and Maggot doing shitty behavior, right? I said it was a manipulation thing. And we have like this hiccup of, I am annoyed that you would talk or speak for Pizzle kind of in a way and like have Pizzle shown differently in front of Maggot, especially when Maggot doesn't like Jessica Pizzle. And my other hiccup on you was that, or with you was that, um, what was it? Um, that I thought you were a kiss ass to Maggot because you're kind of going too soft on her. Right. And that I was just annoyed from that. And you kind of took it in, in assistant sailors chat yesterday. You kind of took it as if I had a problem with you and I didn't have a problem with you. But then when you confronted me in the chat, then I was like, yeah, now I have a problem with you. And I'm going to tell you, I have a problem with you. Oh, yeah. I, I, okay. So with like, the, what's your with the assistant sailors with the assistant sailor part? Like the way I took it was, Okay, like we already talked about this, and we're probably gonna talk about it again later. So it just whatever. And I, I wasn't even gonna watch the sailor stream. I just ended up watching it because they're watching it now recording. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm already here. You know, I want to see what Matt had to say about me. Turns out it was nothing. So you know, fuck it. I'll just hang out. Just watch this. So yeah. I was watching. Um, I fucking I'm on my phone. I fucking zoom in because they're like, oh, Echo, they called you out. They're talking about you in the chat. I'm like, wait, what? And I zoom in and I see Leia something. Oh, I don't know why Echo thinks that a kiss has this. And I'm like, okay, wait, what the fuck? We just talked. Like, why are you going around, like, like shit-talking me? When, no, you're, you're not really shit-talking me. You're, like, responding to the episode. You're responding in real time to, like, Sailor's stream. Yeah. It's not necessarily who, different to what we said in private. Who told you I was talking shit in the chat? It, honestly, I don't remember exactly who, because we were all watching it. Like, it, I, had it, I had the chat pulled up on stream regardless. Well, whoever it might have, you are, it might you're have fucking been Sligans. nasty. Sligans. It might have been Sligans. Sligans! <laughs> it might have, like, 
<laughs> it might have been Sligans because he was sharing the screen, but there was like three different voices talking at the same time, so I don't exactly know who it was. Yeah, well, it's okay. I don't care that Sligans installed you. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not his, his prophet Sligans. I d- I don't have. So- I- I did not have a problem with you. I just was annoyed right. because you went too soft on Maggot. I mean, and part it, of the reason why I went, I went, I did, I would admit, I did go soft on Maggot because I did intentionally tend to go, was going to intend to go harder. But as I, as the episode was being recorded, I'm getting like messages about like, oh, so like, you know, your dad has to go into surgery tomorrow. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Like, why am I finding out like the day before? But apparently like all my other family members knew. Turns out the surgery this wasn't serious. It was um, it was like surgery for kidney stones, where they use like shock waves to like break it up in your kidneys. Yeah. So it just like wasn't that serious of a surgery. That's and then so I got my brother scary. bothering me the whole time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not that bad as I thought it was. Yeah. And then also I'm getting freaking like messages from my brother because someone stole his Amazon package. So my head's just like, okay, well, Badwick's asking her questions. All these guys have questions. I'm kind of like dissociated from the episode. And every now and then, if I do hear something that I do know about, I'll, like, clarify. Because, like, realistically speaking, we didn't plan for it to be, like, an attack episode. Because we knew people were going to watch it anyways. So if she yeah. did lie, if she did say anything different than any of us knew or any of us agreed with, it was going to be dissected regardless. Yeah. So, like, I didn't really go into it to, like, attack her. I was going to go hard, but I ended up, like, getting distracted. And just wasn't, like, up for it that day. <sighs> okay. And then well, the now I see your perspective. Mm-hmm. I think it's cope. Yeah, and then the thing oh. with the just the paper thing. <laughs> you, think I'm, you think you think I'm coping or he's coping? Echo's coping. <laughs> you think I'm coping, easy, buddy? No, the surgery. Nah, I get the surgery. <laughs> I get that. He's like, hey, my dad's got to get kidney stones removed. I wouldn't want to shoot a kidney stone out of my dick. I get it. Like, that, that's serious. But the moment he said, the moment he said, my brother had his Amazon package stolen. L <laughs> brother, L brother, Amazon package. Nah. <laughs> it wasn't. I, it wasn't that. Oh shit, dude! I can't believe he got his package stolen. It was more like he's texting me because he uses my Amazon account. Like, hey, why is my package not here? It says it's here, but it's not here. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? And he's trying to call me. He's trying to call me the whole time. I have no idea what the fuck's going on because all of a sudden my Discord cut, like the audio cuts out. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I, I have I, my ringer's not going off. So I'm just wondering why the fuck everything's like going deaf. So I'm just confused. I'm getting text. I'm fucking reading okay, shit. Okay, you you trying to figure out what the fuck's what going I've on. Learned in life go on people that like to add details or over explain the situation usually are lying no, I'm just, I'm just like, <laughs> bro where's my flashlight i go where is it the fact but what uh, i will i will admit when you had like when you said at amazon package being stolen you had me sold like Sonic <laughs> and joe because sonic and joe may think you're coping but i was just like Oh my God! The Amazon package has been stolen. Like well, we cannot reason... have Amazon packages stolen. Like well, that is a travesty to this world. You should be mad at your delivery driver because there's not <laughs> enough to do that. <laughs> no. So the the big thing, the reason why it was a big deal, why my brother was blowing me up, because it was his um girlfriend's prenatal pills. So it's just like oh you can't, I'm trying to figure out you can't go down to a pharmacy and get prenatal pills. <laughs> you on about? I'm gonna go Walgreens. <laughs> okay, no, no. What? No, no. So the thing, the thing is like they've they've got a certain brand. My dad recommended them that my mom's used for all of us, and it it prevents her from like having like headaches, from like morning sickness. Like it's just the shit she's been taking. So she's like actively like trying to get it, you know, paid for. So they're spending like forty bucks for this shit. And then my other pills I get shaken too that my dad also recommended. And it's just like, okay, we spent like 45 bucks. It got stolen and my brother's trying to figure out what the fuck happened. He doesn't know if it got delivered and he doesn't know where it is or if it got delivered the wrong place. Yeah. So instead of trying to figure it out himself, he's asking me for it because I just happen to have all the answers to everything for him. Are you oh. like the older brother? Uh, I'm the second oldest. I'm like the middle uh, child. Same. Same, I feel that. Same. Oldest I would have been like, and, and, Bruh, like you need to, go, you need to like, fuck off and figure this out. You're okay. Ec- echo of cope. Let's get to yeah. the point. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> I, I, I did want to throw something out there about Maggot though before we derail into funny talk because I like funny talk. Uh, something yeah. I noticed Maggot did in that episode. Uh, flatly noticed it as well. 
Um, it's two things. And I, I'm going to go bit by bit. The first thing is, and Flatly pointed this out, and then I realized it. Maggot says, I don't want to leak things, and then goes, I sent these things to other people who were not involved, which we all know is a leaker. <laughs> That's a yeah. leaker. Yeah. The, the other thing that Maggot did that nobody else pointed out was Maggot said, I'm not a leaker, and then immediately said, I'm going to not read what Jessica Pizzle sent me, but I'm going to tell you guys basically what she told me. No, so- she said no. <laughs> she said she wasn't going to send screenshots of what she uh, of the conversation, but she would relay them through through speech. His, yeah, because you, I know for a fact, if she were to post those screenshots, she would look unhinged. And the only reason why I know for a fact is because Maggot on the Wall Smashers episode was downplaying her conversation with Jessica Pizzle. She said that she initiated the conversation with Jessica Pizzle and described it as initiation, right? Mm -hmm. She left out the part where she (laughs) was so fucking upset that she, on her own volition, decided to send Jessica Pizzle a snake emoji unprompted and unprovoked Doesn't and you know this that's how the that's how the conversation happened between jessica pizzle and maggot M- maggot wants us to believe that she just initiated it she just started it that's it mm-hmm. it's like no you were so fucking upset by the low gals episode so upset about what Jessica Pizzle said, I don't even know why she's so attached to Jessica Pizzle and why she's so fucking upset. Because what Jessica Pizzle was saying in the Low Gals episode is fact. It's a fucking fact. I don't care how much Maggot wants to like downplay it. But she got so upset with what Jessica Pizzle was saying that she decides on her own volition to do a snake emoji. Maggot, do you not realize that people are going to make this out of content? And when you go around falsely accusing somebody of being a scammer, people are going to call it out. Mm-hmm. Not only that, like, I completely 100% believe that although PPA says that there are different reasons as to why Clear as Mud ended, I 100% believe it was because of Maggot's controversy and the Maggot pushback. I don't think it was because of anything else. All the other co-hosts on that show didn't want it to end. I don't think Gigi wanted it to end. I don't think Seth wanted it to end. And I know for a fact, Pizzle was actually, actually, Pizzle was super upset and hurt hurt that Clear as Mud ended. And that's thanks to Maggot. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, The reason I don't think Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Go on, Joe. I'll say this real quick. One of the things I realized real quick when listening to that episode is how bad faith and snaky Maggot is when talking about specifically Pizzle is Maggot for the whole time, oh, I'm not going to go after someone's throat, you know. I don't really care. It's just stuff on Twitter, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then wants to try to go for Pizzle's throat by saying, Oh, well, she overuses medications, and she has uh, problems with all that. And she's just attacking people's outside character just because it makes her feel better. Not because it makes her look good, because it makes her feel better. But every criticism anyone's ever had of Maggot has been something she said publicly, put on Twitter publicly. Like, all the Magnetar stuff is public, you know, out there. And she wants to try to attack people for things that are unrelated to anything. How is, regardless of if Jessica Pizzle does abuse medication or not, how is that relevant to what you did, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I Maggot- didn't even know that was a, I thought that was a joke or some shit. I didn't know that was an actual fucking, like, thing. Maggot for, Maggot does, like, have no problem taking things onto a personal level. Like, when I, and I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, I'm not <laughs> really litigating the Echo of Strategy live stream, okay? But mm-hmm. when I had my blood sports with uh m- with Maggot and K Huck. After that whole blood sport thing, Maggot decided to use the fact that I use certain kind of supplements in my fitness routine against me. And I that's when I was just like, okay, fuck you, Maggot. 
you take things on a personal level. Now I have a problem. And she's a hypocrite because she got so fucking upset that people were using that the fact her child's medical condition against her or the fact that she has children and she instead she's doing like this internet drama. And I think it's absolutely hilarious that she's shitting on Nicholas DiOrio for being a grown adult and having a job and then resulting to internet drama. And it's like, no, do you not realize that Nicholas DiOrio makes more money than you, you dumb bitch? Yep. Way more money. And the fact that you're using it against him is like, that's hilarious to me because you fucking cope about people taking things personal all the time. And not only yeah. that, you you cope that people are pushing back on you. So it's like we should never help we should never hold you accountable at all. We should just ignore the shitty behavior that you do. Uh, yeah, another thing to add on to that is she wants to talk about personal shit. She's willing to attack Pizzle for medication abuse, which I don't know if that's true or not. I don't care. That's her own private struggle. I don't even it, know if that's yeah. true or not. And I'm her co host. Yeah, if it's true or not, that's Pizzle's own private struggle. You know, yeah. that's 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 for her and her boyfriend or husband. I think she has a boyfriend. I don't think they're married. I don't, you know, boyfriend, whatever, to deal with. That's on them. Maggot's quick to attack Nick and say, you live with your parents and all you do is drama. You live with your parents, blah, 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 blah. Wants to make it personal, but then wants to bitch about people finding out that her and D-Max are dating and claim that it was now recording who accidentally leaked all this when in reality nick made a joke you confirmed it and you outed yourself yeah like don't get mad at other people for your mistake and then use your logic of i don't like people attacking me personally and then 180 and flipping everybody else and attacking them for personal stuff that may or may not even be true <laughs> yeah I agree. Absolute retardation. Um, what's another thing that Maggot was doing? Oh, there's a lot. We could have a full three hour oh, podcast on that alone. <laughs> Anybody got like uh, closing statements? Uh, Sen is a loser and a pedophile <laughs> in a lolly con. Maggot is a loser <laughs> and a pedophile in a lolly con. <laughs> Tune into the. <laughs> Tune in to the Minecraft SMP streams. Uh, we're hosting SMP. Make sure you support anybody who is uh, streaming that. Support Leia, support Chthonic, support Echo of Tragedy, support Flatly. Watch my movies. The links will be down below my IMDb <laughs> links. Uh, make sure you watch those. Burn's not here, so he doesn't get a shout out. Fuck you, Burn. I don't care about your internet oh, reception, you oh. ginger. <laughs> Fuck, what was what? I just gonna say? Uh -oh. oh man. Oh, weren't we yeah. supposed to do a tier list? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck. We forgot to do the Damn tier it. list. Fuck. We'll do it on episode ten. We'll do it on episode, uh, episode 10. 10. Episode 10. Ready for the episode pick me 10. The commentary pick me tier list is coming. Don't worry. Uh, my guys. bad I, for I forgot to remind you. <laughs> I'm at the top of the tier list. I love being I a pick me. I remember like <laughs> six hours ago when I started my stream in the morning. And I, and we totally forgot. Dude, I rolled really Okay. Even when you said, "Oh, Echo, remind me, uh, write, uh, write that down," write I that put down. that down. <laughs> <laughs> I literally put that down. I forgot what the fuck it meant. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, well, um, is that it? I think that's it. Well, I'll do the outro. Hell yeah. Well, that's it, and well, that's it for this episode, guys. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and subscribe to Flatley's channel, and also you can subscribe to any of us. We'll link in the description, and uh, well, at least we tried. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes.